So this is one of the ideas I've been mulling over for a while. I've seen some people completely removing this section uh, and running some aero catches for the bonnet instead. And then I saw somebody make this removable, but then they welded in some tabs and nuts to make sure that this could refit and keep the bonnet catch. So I've just marked up to see um, how that might work. What I want is some flat, I w if I was going to cut it, I want it somewhere that's flat such that I can um, weld a piece in three different areas to get some good strength back. So it would be like a bolt there, bolt, a bolt there with a welded tab, bolt there with a welded tab underneath. So I'm just marking this up to see how I think it would work and I'm just a little bit <laughs> wary of just going ahead and cutting this uh, so I'm having a bit of think what to do and of course the idea is that with this out of the way when you're swapping engines it's easier to just glide the engine in sort of that way and tilt it around into position um, so that's the benefit of doing this uh, I just thought I'd better explain that so it's not just a random thing that I'm trying to do Well, there you go. <laughs> it's done now. Um, so yeah, the idea will be to weld some little plates off of these areas that this will sit back down on and bolt back to. We use some captive nuts behind the plates. So we just need to give this a file up now. On this side as well. Worst comes to the worst, if someone says this is a bad idea, we can just weld it back in, not a problem, once we've slotted the engine back in. But yeah, it should really make getting the engine in a lot easier, because you can bring it in gearbox first and swing it around. So that's going to help me out with the rig that I've got, I think. So I just need to tidy these up, get them in a bit of prepared for a bit of welding. Yeah. <laughs> interesting hi again so this weekend I've not been able to do uh, any work on the car whatsoever um, reason yesterday we went down to Cadwell Park to look at the time attack and I'll uh, stitch on some um, bonus footage at the end it's only a couple of minutes I'll stick that on the end of the video so you can watch that but I thought what I'd do is finally organize the bits and bobs that are still going to go on this car. The reason I'm able to do this is that um, you know, there's bigger news going on at the moment in my life uh, which means I've got a chance to use a bit more of my house. My missus has moved um, to our new location uh, and I'm staying here for a while to finish the car, to finish some bits and bobs on the house but we're having a bit of a move uh, so while she's gone ahead with my son uh, I'm left here to finish some jobs and that includes finishing the car but it means that I can space some stuff out in the house uh, we'll come back to all of that life stuff later but this is all the stuff um, we've got left to do there's another table in there which I'll show you in a second so here's the um, three inch stainless pipe that arrived to extend the exhaust um, so we'll be having a play with that later these are the bracket, under brackets to get the fuel and brake lines to the back of the car. Some more brake clips here, bits and bobs for welding the slam panel back on. These are some handbrake retainer clips. Um, we've even got a brand new GM um, dipstick pipe. <laughs> Don't know why I've got this, but I did. Uh, and some new seals to go on that uh, pipe where it goes into the sump. Uh, we've got an angle guide for when I'm talking up things around the engine and, and various bits and bobs where you need to talk a specific degrees for stretch bolts and things. 
We've got some more brake pipe, um, brake unions and stuff, some paint, power steering fluid, we've got loads of that. These are various clips from uh, a Mr. Wang. He sent me these and uh, these are all kind of plastic fitting stuff. Thank you. We've got some new bumper guides for the front uh, bumper on the side of the wings. They're going to go on. These were from Nevlock, I think. Nevlock Performance. Uh, we've got some. You remember that the um, uh, the drive shaft came with a broken clip around the boot, so we've got some new ones of those. This is the um, probably fake leather. Hmm, maybe not. Um, <laughs> gaiters for the handbrake and the gear stick. This is the remade gear stick. This is a short shift adapter that goes on the end of the gear stick. This is a short shift kit that goes on the gearbox directly. So we're going to see whether we need this little bit or not. And if we don't need it, I'll sell that on. We're going to try this shift kit as well. The good thing about this is it comes with that plastic... Uh, insert which removes the last little bit of play on the top of the gearbox so we're going to try that out uh, spacers for the alloys and bolts for the alloys that's everything on this table that we still got left to do so brakes but essentially um, you know bits and bobs inside the car so this is the table with all new bits and bobs on it actual parts we'll start at the boring end got a new set of engine mounts for all the way around the engine apart from the rear one so these are the side and front engine mounts uh, all brand new nothing fancy just Phoebe ones um, we've got a set of Brembo pads road spec pads to run with these discs I have got these track spec pads which came with the calipers which I've got loads of meat on so I'm going to keep those pads somewhere safe for running on track and these will run with a road uh, for now on the road for now we've got a, a shortened auxiliary belt for the fact that we're not running an AC compressor anymore and a new auxiliary tensioner from SKF we've got a bit of a, a brake caliper thing we've got some shims going on and some new pins for the brake calipers we have got a new o-ring for the oil filter cap, a new o-ring for the oil level sensor if I need to do that when I get in there. This is a main crank seal which I may or may not be able to replace at this point. We shall see. GM spec oil filter, drain, uh, sump drain and washer. These are inject seals for resealing the injectors when I put them in. This is an EGR delete gizmo that came from Poland or somewhere we'll see if that works or not this is a bung so if we're removing the EGR we can bung up and remove the pipe that feeds back into the inlet manifold so that's a Volkswagen part from something which I found described on a forum so I bought one of them this is a sump reseal kit GM spec stuff apparently so we can uh, squidge that on and use this tool to shape the uh, the bead and reseal that right up here is all the stuff to do with the gearbox so we've got a T piece or whatever it is for the top of the gearbox this is the hydraulic clutch feed a brand new one of them from GM spec um, new gearbox drain washers a set of new seals for where the drive shafts go in. We've got the clip. This is a C20 let clutch kit, which is a bit uh, more enduring. And I think this is a Sax uh, slave cylinder to pop in there as well. The clutch alignment tool. This came with it, but I think that's for the C20 let, so we can bin that off eventually. Uh, these are for sale if you want to buy these <laughs> these are melee suspension tops if you want to buy these just drop me a message these are for sale because I don't need them running the Bilsteins but I bought them in advance of the Bilsteins or something like that 
So if you want to buy these, let me know. This is a brand new alternator, 120 amp alternator to bolt onto the engine. That's a Haynes manual in case I get stuck. <laughs> right, the elephant in the room then. Elephant in the room. This is obviously a K&N cone filter kit and I'm aware that that does not give me optimal running um, because of heat soak and all that business. But I wanted something that would look clean in the engine bay, would bolt on easily whilst there's some issues with the uh, standard air box fitting in there um, and I couldn't bother to deal with that so I bought this. <laughs> Uh, I like the noise of these things, but I'm aware of the issues with performance, so you don't quite need to message me about that, unless you really want to talk. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just wanted this uh, as a quick and easy bolt-in, look good and um, sound well, and run for 300 miles till I think, oh yeah, this is pants, and sort out a new airbox kit. But, who knows, might be alright. And if we ever go supercharged, maybe this will fit on the end of the supercharger. We shall see. So you're getting a oh, Dorenza radiator as well, 40 mil Dorenza radiator to go on. So this is just a few parts that I've laid out to help guide myself along with the last few hurdles on this car. There are other parts in the loft. The engine looms are in the loft. The Moret lights are in the loft. Um, there's all sorts of stuff in the shed. So I'm just trying to wade through all the stuff and get things laid out so that I know what to do next. So thanks for watching so far. I know it's not been particularly interesting. This week we're going to get the um, slam panel uh, stuck back in the car. But uh, we can't do anything this weekend, so I thought I'd just give you a bit of a rundown of all the parts that we've collected. There's some gearbox oil somewhere that I've lost, so you know, this, doing all this is to try and help me find all the parts that I've bought over the last few months. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Uh, some bonus footage coming up from Cadwell. Not a lot, because it wasn't a great day for filming, and I don't have a great camera. So anyway, just tuck it on the end. Thanks for watching, I'll be back later with any progress and jobs, and uh, yeah, have a good rest of the weekend. Cheers for now!